Frontier FX. Coming at you month end here, March 31st. Not a whole lot to say. Things are just washing around between these month end flows, whatever these flows are. Um, obviously, equity buy flows are in play here. That's one thing we know for sure. So on the currency side, it's 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 not super clear. Um, we're taking a personal day today. We'll be back for the fix at five. Uh, so I just wanted to pop in real quick and, and have a look and see what's going on. Maybe some strategies for the final fix today. Uh, obviously, yesterday big bullish day. Today we printed a high of uh, twenty six thirty one, which matches. Um, matches up with that 34 and a half high from Friday we expect these highs to break uh, but we're sellers right we're gonna we're gonna be selling into this 2700 zone and we will be fading the last sort of marked on close fix uh, for the month uh, so but that's that's 14 hours away, so a lot can happen in between them. But this is what our thought pattern is. Uh, we'll see how this how this progresses. Talked about crude last night. Um, we're now square crude, trading up to 2127. This chart's a bit delayed. Went up to 75 last night. This might be the bottom for crude in one, uh, 1927. Uh, I don't know. We're not here to be heroes and, and pick the exact low after a 70% uh, down move. So we're just moving on. The real clever guys here will probably try and try and flip short. You have some money to play with here. Um, we're we're keeping it pretty simple. We're not actually that good at trading crude. Um, so we'll just move on and uh, see how this goes but interesting sort of capitulatory this red bar here capitulatory bar it was immediately rejected and then we went on the march I don't know I don't pretend to understand crude but don't marry don't marry any positions in this high vol market just take the money and run Boons time to sell again or add to shorts we did a real stretch high there yesterday that was like minus 55 basis points up there at 74 um, should see further downside today with this sort of buoyant equity market you want to look at this in the yield as a yield deal so we're going to see big support at minus 70 you want to be short boons in this area for a move back up here and then the conviction trade um, is when we break minus 15 I know that's uh, hard for a lot of you guys to sort of understand or believe but the conviction trade is when we get price telling us that the position is correct so you want to fish for dips here, tactically trade, try and earn cash. Chips go in when we're through minus 15 basis points, just like the chips went in at minus 90. In the middle of the range here, we're just tactically trading. Anyway, I'm not doing a trading class today, just uh, chatting about markets. Um, Euro, not much to say here. Middle of nowhere, you want to try and pick these up. 109.50. Good luck with that. Not sure that's going to happen. Uh, dollar yen fixed last night in Tokyo. Let's see what happened there. Looks like they were dollar buyers. Went up to 108.70. Um, now we're back here. This one's tricky, right? You got the uh, Ministry of Finance, GPIF, buying foreign assets in huge chunks. Uh, but you have the world wanting to get short short dollars tricky dollar yen's a tricky one we're staying away from that Aussie up near the 62 handle surely this is a sell between 62 and 63 we don't have a dog in this fight we're just kind of waiting 
as you can see we're pretty low key today um, we're gonna get some exercise get some fresh air get out of the office um, away from the family for a day separation strategy uh, for everyone's benefit and mental health uh, so we'll be we'll be out in the forest on the bike what else I don't know There's not much else out there um, like I said we're looking for sort of slushy markets today uh, we're gonna take a little mental day I'll leave that uh, leave the rest of it to you guys we'll pop in for the fix to see if there's anything juicy there that we wanna that becomes mispriced uh, we don't get our hopes up on that if you're gonna trade today looks like um, the trade is short fixed income try and try and sell some high ones in fixed income uh, I'm I'm nervous about being long stocks so I'm just leaving that alone but stocks look like looks like they want to go higher and you can tactically trade crude um, with the P&L that you earned from last night or you can just leave crude alone we're, we're gonna leave it alone from here anyway not too useful today on this video sorry about that people but uh, I will see you all sometime soon alright yeah tomorrow ciao